The Verve Clico Gold Cup is the highlight of the English polo calendar, this year celebrating its Golden Jubilee 50 years. Here at Cowdery Park, the event grows bigger each year and for the rich and famous, it's definitely the place to be seen. For Ellison White, at one, Jacinto Crotto at two. Facundo Pires at three, Gonzalito Pires, and at back, James Packer, a total of 23 goals. And Black Bears on the same handicap at one, Guy Schwarzenbach. At two, Eduardo Navija Estrada. At three, Javier Navija Estrada. And at back, Lucas James. Umpires today, June Appleby, Tim Bound. Appleby about to throw in, and we're underway. The 2006 Gold Cup. And straight away, ball picked up by Gonzalito Pires. For Ellison, turns it nicely. His brother takes out Eduardo Navija Estrada and sets off on the run. Here's a chance straight away. Facundo Pires with the near side shot. It's going close. Has to be hit. The backhand cleared by Black Bears. Jacinto Crotto turns on that one. Flicked away. Gonzalito Pires. Guy Schwarzenbach gives it back to Facundo Pires. Close quarters. He's very good at this. All hooked out of it and taken by Javier. That was very slick, very brave also. OK, the first penalty of the game for Gundo Pires for Elliston on the 60-yard line. And what a beautiful steepling shot straight through the middle of the post. 1-0 to Elliston. John, it doesn't get much better than this. Look at this. I it, it's reminiscence of Howard Hipwood back in 1994 when he hit a few 60s over those trees. This one nearly makes it as well. Lovely strike. No mistake at all. Ball just kicked away there. Left to Eduardo, who's changed pony already. And here comes Javier, also on a change pony. And flicks it in. Oh, met on the line, Jacinto Crotto. James Packer brings it away. Guy back, brushes him aside, gets in the backhand. Here's another chance. Javier with Facundo. Javier with the backhand into the centre. Across the face of goal, Eduardo. Goal shot, backhand. Where's it going? It's in. What great play between that pair of brothers, Chris. Well, they tepid the goal mouth in the last 20 seconds. Something had to go through. Great save from Jacinto. A bit unfortunate that Jamie Packer didn't, didn't clear it a bit better, but that's a lovely near side backhand straight through the post. Oh, Gonzalito nearly gets a piece of it. Start of the third, Black Bears by just the one goal now. Take possession from the throw-in. And Javier leaves it to Eduardo. Eduardo breaks into a desultory canter. Gets some power on it. Oh, and Jamie Packer had a look, decides he can't get in there. And Javier goes in, scores on the near side, like he was sticking ball in, Chris. <laughs> Elliston just looked a bit asleep there. Jamie Packer, the ball didn't quite come up to him for the near side backhand. Facundo was caught in the middle sleeping. Look at this, the see the near side doesn't quite come. Facundo's lost his man. Lovely little centering shot from Javier. Didn't really reach out for the hook. Facundo, I think he needs to wake up a bit. Yeah, you're probably right. We'll have another look at it. Uh, yeah, he could probably have hooked him there, doesn't get it. Perhaps trying to be a bit too clever. And by three black bears and straight away Gonzalito. He's been the man of Edison so far. Picks it up in the air as easy as you please. One of the ball juggling generation. We see a bit more of it there at close quarters, brings it in from the center. That's a good looking shot. Is the spin gonna take it? It does down the hill, it goes right. That is the goal of the game so far for me. And Edison get one back, five goals. Black bears, four to Edison. Oh, it's just beautiful to watch, John. Look at the pick-up off the boards. Taps it once in the air. He's ridden off half by Eduardo. Look at the shape of the stick as the ball leaves the mallet head. And the forward momentum of the ball. A bit of roll, a bit of slope on the field. That's a beautiful goal. Well, forget going through the traffic. The next shot did it for me. That was fantastic. And there goes the hooter. There are 30 seconds left. Black Bears have a chance to get back in front before the half-time tread in. And they fire down the pass, but this man, Facundo, really coming to the fore now. Takes off again. He thinks he's still got time to score another. 
the pony in full action the ball in the air offside near side pressure from lucas james what a great near side shot who is there it is lucas james with fagundo Pires. the backhand comes in the second hooter goes and there you have it at half time game restarts with a throw in and if ellison win this they will be happy for Kundo. It just comes off a horse, Lucas James. Oh, he should have had a go at that, but he doesn't. And there is Gonzalito Pires. And there is the next shot. And there is the go-ahead goal for Elliston. Straight away, the desperate defence at the end of the last chucker, all to no avail. Let's just look here, John. Look how calm and cool they are. They didn't rush. They didn't, they didn't quickly do anything with the ball. They bided their time, wait for the opportunity, make the play. Next shot, straight through the post. Javier leaves to Eduardo. This perpetual cat and mouse that they play with the opposition, looking for the overlap and looking particularly for Lucas James to step up, take out a big player or get free. There's Eduardo though. Whoa, why do you need Lucas James? Well, you can just fire one up the pitch, your brother get on the end of it and nonchalantly hit a beautiful open cut shot straight through the middle of the post. It's unbelievable. Great little jostling though to start off the play and then whoever gets to jump on the on the two of the three makes the run. It was Eduardo. Beautiful run. Lovely cut shot. That is beautiful, John. Black Bears straight away back. Now Black Bears tactics may backfire on them. I think they've just played for two chuckers to contain Elliston until they come back on their top ponies in this the last chucker. No, exactly. And here's a chance for Elliston to make them pay for that tactic. Oh, clean miss on the cut shot and on the grey, it's Javier. They are two goals down, he looks open on the backhand, Eduardo comes in late, but picks it up. And there goes Lucas James, Lucas James running away from Jacinto Crotto. All he wants to do is leave it to Eduardo, and he does. This is great play, Eduardo. Up to Guy Swartzelback, Guy Swartzelback on his own. James Packer has left the back door open for one of the first times in this game, and Guy Swartzelback says, I thank you very much. And Anuri straight through the middle, Chris. Great team play there from the whole of the Black Bears team, from the open back end of Javier to Eduardo calling Lucas James off to the pass up to Guy Swartzen back to the half swing through the post. Beautiful goal, beautiful team play. Mayor runs beautifully, and now it is 8 7. As Gonzalito takes off for the pass from Facundo. Javier, cool and calm. He's not going to rush anything, he's been here before. He knows what to do, and he gets in a lovely backhand. And Eduardo has got Jacinto Crotto. Let's it go down to Guy Swartzenbach, and here... Oh, oh my word, it word. can't be. It's a repeat of the other one. It's a repeat of the other one. Picks up the slope, the under the next shot, and just makes it over the line before Jamie Packer gets back for the backhand. As the Cockney boys say, you wouldn't add an it, John. Normally, that was just an amazing next shot from Guy. The pass from Eduardo look at this the ball's bouncing everywhere we're in gold cup there's a minute to go and he goes and slots this one hello I bet you Jamie Packer cannot oh. believe his luck he did everything right he has a man shadowed he's pushed him out to the side he's made him hit an impossible shot and he's gone and put it in Amazing. and suddenly we are all tied up at eight goals apiece and the Black Bears camp goes mad two goals in the last chucker from the son of the patron if you were writing the script you'd have said no nah, no one's going to believe me the boys from black bears now this is pressure. on fresh ponies with one minute left to play eight all in the sixth javier comes round and he's got the thing with Eduardo, how are we going to create an overlap? We're going to go early. And they do. They just go for territory. They hit it all the way down inside the 30. Eduardo hooks out the backhand. Guy nearly scores a hat trick in the same chucker. And Facundo clears it out left to the boards. And there it goes. The boy James gets enough of Facundo to leave the ball to Javier. And it's out over the sideline. I'd say there's half a minute left. And one more chance for Black Bears, Chris. Great play from Jamie Packer. 
to stop Eduardo from scoring the winner. Nearly comes back to Jamie Packer, but a great defending near side on, under the next shot there from and we're on again. Oh no! Oh look! 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 It's gonna! It's gonna be! It's not gonna be! He's on his own. Javier is on his own, and a squeaky, squeezy sort of shot straight from the throw-in. Black Bears, I think, have stolen this final. How did this happen? How did this happen? Traffic going through and on his own. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. As the hooter goes, we watch the replay. It nearly goes out. It's off the cane. It was meant to be. Black Bears have won, and they are ecstatic. So a victorious Black Bears lift the famous trophy for 2006. Winners twice before, back in 1992 and 2002, the Bears look to maintain the form that sees them as one of the top polo teams in the country.